Yeah, go ahead, just bring her out. Yeah, go ahead, just bring her out. Just bring her out. Thank you. All right, here we are, back again. Y'all hear her running back? Back up. Uh, I'm going Hey, yeah, whatever. Let's keep away from the knife. Okay, so here we are back again. Got my Macklemore shirt, like uh, the Forever Macklemore. Got my garlic in there. Reserve most of it right here. Uh, reserve most of it with oil, roasted and fresh. Hey, you like that, baby? And then uh, some cheese. Just cracking this cheese open real quick. I'm gonna do one quick batch. Uh, this is gonna be a quick uh, test batch. We're gonna see how strong all the ingredients are. Really. Uh, I'm gonna see how strong all the ingredients are, and uh, you know, it's always good to do a test. A <laughs> test batch first. She loves garlic. It's really pretty delicious. I'm going. What's happening? I'm almost done. So just gonna take a couple minutes, okay? Okay. All right. Oh, okay. So we got cheese here. Cheese is open. Trash out of the way. Got that. We're gonna do a, a little injection of roasted garlic right off the bat. I, don't, I want more roasted flavor than a fresh flavor, and. Uh, See, I'm gonna drop in some top nuts. Baby, you wanna be inside a video? Like that? Not yeah. too much. It's going everywhere. Uh, see there you go, baby. She sees a new video. Yeah, I know she does. So are you. Alright, okay. It's a video about cooking. It's one about babies. I am a robot. No, 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 a video about robots and, and babies, okay? <laughs> Alright, so then we're gonna take some basil, stuff some basil in here. This. Like I said, I got a mixture of lemon basil and uh, a more savory basil. The lemon's a lot sweeter. I'm gonna drop it down in there and see what it tastes like. And a nice little batch, a little starter batch. Just uh, get our flavors in order. A little bit of uh, salt, kosher salt I like to use. I think it's more delicious, I don't know. Uh, sea salt's good too. There's a baby right there. Look, baby, you in the video. And I, drop, I drop some olive oil on that right off the bat. It's going to take quite a bit of olive oil. I mean, you want it thick, but all these leaves will break down to a small amount. Come here, baby. What are you crying about? You selling an orange juice? All right, get your keys. Come get your keys. Yeah. Okay, make right, the well, finish with you. And then a uh, sprinkle of pepper. Put some pepper in this time of time. And then, uh, I guess it's not a very little sprinkle of pepper, but come here, baby. You can help. You can always put in more cheese later. It's all about getting your seasoning right at the very end. You can always put in more garlic, more everything later. You can't take it out. You can always put more in. So that's what you have to remember when you're seasoning. Uh, careful, what you get in here? Baby? Baby, what do you got? Don't, no. don't shout at her. Just go, go check out. Make sure she's not. Yes, the baby, you want to find that? Where are we find that? Baby. Come here, baby. Alright, so on with Rooney. As you see, I have got a shortage of time. She's got a pan wipe, so they're not good for a baby. Hold on. You want some blending action? Come here. Look at this blending action, baby. Come on. Look at that. Impressive, right? Can you give it the old blender Rooney until it's uh, smooth? It's not going to be too loud. It's not going to get too loud anymore, don't worry. So you give the old blender Rooney, and you can just add a little bit more olive oil until it turns to the consistency you want. Okay, and taste and salt and pepper. Go on, let me finish. I'm done. I'm already at four minutes. I don't want to go a five minute video. I like to process it until it's pretty smooth. Come here, baby. That is probably going to sound awful on the video. Oh, well. Uh, look at that. Give a little stir and run. Make sure you don't be afraid to taste. Go follow her. Make sure she's not getting into the cabinets, okay? Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Smell will tell you a lot. You don't want too much of anything. Slowly add it to the taste that you like. And then always make sure you listen to the feedback of uh, whoever's eating it. So, and then tell, make sure you tell whoever's eating it to not give you any good feedback. Anything good, just assume it's good. And and make sure you can pry out of them anything that's real bad about it. And everybody has different tastes, but tell
tell them you only want bad feedback. That's how you get better at something. Okay, my computer. No, it's not too bad. It's not going to die. Okay, there's six minutes longest video yet. Uh, I'm going to taste this. I'm going to reseason. Uh, I'm sure you, you don't need the aftermath, but here's what it looks like. You want to get a good look at that? That's close to the. Come here, baby! That's close to the consistency you want right there. And then after that, well, yeah. I'm going to get a little bit smoother, but see that consistency? It's a nice thick one right there. But that's with cheese and pine nuts and everything. Like I said, if you're going to save it for later, make sure you don't put in uh, the cheese. Everything else will freeze. It's a nice thick one. There's going to be some more salt and garlic and everything added to this. Like I said, always the taste. That's the most important thing. The, the taste of it. You can do the presentation later. So, that's uh, Pesto 101. <laughs> I'm going to complete. <laughs> I'm going to make about six batches. This is just my test batch. We're going to get the old tester Rooney and let uh, let people taste it. And um, then we'll get some a little bit of feedback and know what we need to do different for the batch that's going to last us all the winter. Thank you for watching.